Hello everyone, welcome to Laptop Repair Zone. Hope you all are fit and fine. Today I will show you how to fix Lenovo Z4070 laptop not turning on. As you can see I connect the charger to this laptop but it's not turning on. I press the power button, it's not turning on. Charging red LED is blinking. I show you again press the power button is not turning on so I will check it with only adapter so I remove this battery from this laptop and connect charger again and press the power button as you can see white LED glowing for a few seconds so it's try to turning on so let's try to fix it Please subscribe, press the bell icon. So at first I need to check any liquid damage or burning sign in this motherboard. So I need to remove this sticker. This one also. Okay, now let's check. This motherboard number is NMA272. This side is clear check this side so first I need to remove this CMOS battery if there is no other problem after remove the CMOS battery it should turn on this laptop so let's connect DC adapter No, it's still not turning on. As you can see, I press the power button, but it's not turning on. So now let's check all the required voltage step by step. So at first I need to check 20 volt in DC port. So let's check okay 20 volt is present in DC port now I need to check V in voltage should be here let's check okay V in volt is also present now I need to check B plus okay B plus 20 volt also present let's check 5 volt always voltage it's present or not as you can see 5 volt always is not present 3.3 volt always voltage is present show you again okay it's not present so we find the problem so now let's check why 5 volt always voltage is not present so now I will check there is any short ground or not so I set my multimeter in buzzer mode as you can see it's beeping let's check here it's not beeping check again okay it's not beeping now so now I will check 5 plus 5 Vs voltage okay Vs is beeping so as you can see 5 volt always line is not short to ground as you can see short is here here also not beeping 
so after this mosfet it's short to ground so vs line is short to ground plus 5 vs line is short to ground so now i will find out which parts is short to ground so i will inject voltage from my dc power supply to this plus 5 vs voltage so now i will solder a jumper where here then i will inject voltage here and then i will find out which parts getting hot okay it's done now it's time to inject voltage here so i set my dc power supply voltage is 1.5 ground is ground plus is here as you can see ampere is taking so let's find out which parts is getting hot i don't have thermal camera so now i need to check by alcohol okay i feel i feel heat here maybe something getting hot here so let's check okay finally we find it this capacitor is getting hot as you can see see here oh it's removed by itself as you can see it's already removed by itself because it was too hot I put this capacitor later first I need to check it's turning on or not so let's check out let's check the voltage is present or not okay it's not short to ground now so I connect charger again okay as you can see it's turning on because white LED is glowing so let's check 5 volt always voltage okay it's present now VS also plus 5 VS volt is also present so we successfully fix this problem let's check display is ok or not solder CMOS battery again connect LVDS cable
charger okay as you can see it's turning on if you like this video please don't forget like comment share and subscribe thanks again